Hey guys, if you're tuning in from the last vlog, I told you to tune into this vlog because we garbage picked a box of goodies on the way back from the post office. Near, we can go through it. This thing is amazing. I'm pretty sure this is what Rich seen that made him turn around and go back. The only problem is I cannot tell. Hold on, I gotta get this out. If this is broken or if it was meant to be like that. Excuse my dog. The top part obviously goes into the bottom part. And my my whole issue with this is how uniform this is. Why is that so uniform? If it was broken, I feel like it would be broken. I don't get that. I really don't. But regardless, it's a really pretty piece. I just don't quite understand if this is a broken piece. Or if it's just made weird. I don't know. But that is cool. Copper obviously going in the scrap pile if we can ever get there. This too, that's going in the scrap pile. Grabbed a couple little picture frames, which will, I don't know, likely go online. This obviously is a baseball signed by a bunch of people that I don't know because I literally do not understand or know sports. Anybody know any of these signatures? They do look printed on. They do not look like they were signed, signed. But I could be wrong on that as well because I don't do signatures. That looks like Kenny Rogers. Didn't he just die or am I thinking of somebody else? I'm just going to put that away since I don't know what I'm talking about. These are cool. I actually want to open this bag. These are pretty amazing. I think they're wood. There's a few of them with little stands. I don't know if they all have stands, but some of them have stands. I don't know, something like that. This one might be foreign. I'm trying to figure out what that says or what that means, but of course it's not focusing. I don't know, there's that one. Another little stand. Actually, they do look like they all have stands. There's this one with a stand and this one, which is pretty freaking neat. Also has its own little stand. And then there's this seems to be some sort of like art tile vintage art tile I don't know Mexico maybe what do you guys think it's not marked anything that I can see and the little hanger fell out but it's still a cool piece that's that bag and then gems of the world's forest Yeah, I don't know. That looks to be a meat thermometer. Detailed map of southwestern Michigan. These are cool old maps. Kentucky, Tennessee. Colorado. Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee. What is this? This is something. American Express travel Traveler's Checks? That's not right. What is actually in here? Looks like another map. Looks like an old map. And then we've got a stack of car review magazines from the 60s? No, the 80s. 1986, I'm pretty sure that's what that... Ooh, that's cool! Corvette calendar from 1990. Yeah, that's actually really neat. Look at that beauty. Corvettes do absolutely nothing for me. Sorry, guys. 
more car review magazines, I will likely lot those up and auction them off. I don't know what this is. Something. More car review. Unless there's something in here that seems like it might be worth something extra. I'll probably just lot those up and auction them. But they're neat. Alright, let's move these over here. Apparently this person really likes Corvettes. Corvette, a piece of the action. 1974 Chevrolet Owner's Manual. Some of these old manuals can be worth some decent money. I know I've sold one or two in the past. It is a Corvette. I almost said that in the beginning. And then I decided I didn't see that. Alright, Tiger's Magazine. No idea if that's worth anything. Probably, again, auction those off. More of these car review magazines. Like a big stack of the car review magazines. I don't know. For free. I think we did alright. I like the vintage stuff. I like when we garbage pick vintage stuff. It's just more interesting to me than modern things. There's some money in this box, that's for sure. I really wish I knew whether or not this was broken. I'm going to try to look it up. But regardless, I can sell these for sure. The scrap pile is a bit on the ridiculous side. But that guy that uh, paid us yesterday, I think, or the day before, I don't know, our days are running together. He did pull out that lawnmower and a couple of the snow throwers. So made a little bit of space. We do have two dryers that we are planning on taking apart at some point. I don't know. But what I think we're going to do is work on the bus. Sunshine is out, which means it's actually not too bad in here. It's still pretty chilly outside, but it's kind of has the uh, greenhouse effect with all the windows and the sun is out. So it actually feels quite nice in here. Now what Rich started was this frame back here but that's as far as he got he just wanted to make sure that it was going to do what we thought it was going to do he's got all the pieces cut somewhere here we're going to put them up start framing the roof camera's not picking it up well but i'm like covered in sawdust that makes it look like i have dandruff but that's okay we are making progress what did you say this was four of 13 yeah. that we're accomplishing now. Arms are starting to feel a little bit like jello. Look at them. Just look at them. When look we, at those ribs. When we run our tongue and groove ceiling, this gives us an area to attach to, which would be a whole lot easier than trying to attach them to the metal because we really don't want to use wood to metal screws on the ceiling boards. We just want to use standard little wood screws. So and, and it also makes it a little bit thinner of a section for the rolled insulation to go in without having a gap and that's it just gets spray foamed in here. We're making it. We just gotta bang these things down. Cause they look like this. And you can't really put a two by two there so we gotta like Bang them that way. Oh, hopefully my arms can make it all the way to the end. We didn't make it to all the ribs. Our arms are getting a little jello -y and uh, we're both pretty hungry. So we're going to just stop for the day because we can do that. We've got time. <laughs> and uh, we did make it. How many ribs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not too bad. We've only got these left to do. We can do that another day. Now the sunshine came back out and it stopped snowing. We took a little breather. We ate some food. We complained about being old for a little while. And then we got back to work and finished the ribbing. It's all done. Hands hurt, legs hurt, arms hurt, back hurts. Definitely having some old 
oldness going on. But one more thing done. Proud of ourselves. Muscled through it. What do you guys think? It's no easy task. Heck no, it wasn't, man. Whew. That was rough. And I helped the whole time. Yeah, she helped. She helped. I needed it. The whole time. I helped. Yeah, we took an intermission break. Olded out. Came olded out. We totally olded out. Um, we've been doing a little bit of discussing. We think that this little circular, circular, rectangular area here. I think we're going to cut that out. There's like a good gap. I don't know if I can get up here to show you guys. But up here, there's a huge gap. That's kind of just dead space. It all needs to be re-insulated. This is the original insulation for the bus, and it's horrid. It's pointless. But this is just an empty cavern, basically. Um, so we're going to use it for storage. Cut this out and then use probably the same boards that we're going to use on the ceiling. It's like tongue and groove uh, cedar boards. Line this, I don't know, we might do like an opening thing, but it'll be extra storage. We can move the um, first aid kit, I don't know, like over there or something. I do want to keep as much of the bus stuff as I possibly can. These up here aren't even going to be wood. We kept the original metal um, ceiling pieces that go here and here. We're going to re-insulate that, and then we're going to put the original metal bus bus pieces back up so that way you got like normal bus in the front and then basically this line right here is going to be the dividing line of we're driving a bus but we live here <laughs> so there's gonna be some like super thick curtains that run along this beam right here and those are going to be drawn when we're parked or whatever um, if we're just hanging out and then all of this is our living space and that can just be you know closed off with that curtain it's going to be neat you'll you guys will see it come together as we you know build it out more and start framing the walls in and framing where you know things are going to go like this is going to be me and rich's bed right here and then there's going to be a part of the kitchen here that has a refrigerator and a there's going to be massive cupboards up top. Keegan gets the master bedroom because he's a teenager. <laughs> and then bathroom goes there. Outside of bathroom, all this is going to be kitchen. Oh, I just can't wait. I can envision it. But uh, you guys will, I guess, have to just kind of wait and see how it goes together. Right, babe? Yes. And on that note, we're going to close this video out for today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.